Hello and welcome back to our final game of the day. We've got Revenge facing off against the North American Rejects and oh my Lanta, we may have screwed up this introduction because oh we failed to load one of those spectators. Was it you Merlini? Did you fail to load? What? Hell no. Were you that guy? No, no. you weren't that guy. I'm not that guy. Okay, well let's find out who was it. Hmm. Oh, oh. He said to kick China. Kick China. All right, see you later China. Let's do this. Go. All right. Let's just do go. It. All just right, click Jesus, start. Just making sure everyone's awake. God damn. Mm, somebody's getting aggressive. It doesn't here. matter if they're awake. It'll still load if they're not awake. All right. I mean, hopefully. I mean, we failed the first time, but Revenge versus Nair, Nar, North. What's, what's the name? The... Always reminds me of All American Rejects. All American Rejects. I like, their, I like Nair reminds me of the stuff that melts the hair and your skin. You know, it's like so you don't have to shave anymore. You put it on. It like melts your hair. It's like you p you rub this stuff on your arm, all the hair gets all gross, and you wipe it off, and then you've got a hairless arm. Nair, like no hair. Come on, dude. It's a thing. <laughs> don't give me that face. Don't give me that face. Jesus. I don't know about this. Anyways, <laughs> you can so it. we are part of the Summit Qualifiers <laughs> for America. Yeah, we sure are. Powered by Twitch. And we've got uh, the American group stages here. Do we have... We don't have the group standings working right now, right? Is there? There's an. We do. Can we look at the standings because we haven't looked at them yet? Let's check them out. Actually, and as I get the thumbs up, that quickly turned to a, a limp thumbs down. Wait. So revenge, the Peruvians versus up. North American rejects. North American rejects are a relatively new team. We have Brex, percentages. Fog, Korok, fourteen thirty-seven staking. Well, to be honest, I've not seen North American reject play more Me than neither. once. That's what revenge, I've seen play a few times. I'd say they're more experienced. As a team? Ooh, here we go. Oh, okay. All right, we think this is right in update. Let's take a look here. EG 2 and 0, Liquid 1 and 1, CNB 1 and 1. Was today the first day of America group stages? Oh, oh, wow. We Okay. Yes, we had scheduling issues because Cloud9 were, were unable to participate as originally planned. So this looks pretty right. Four wins, four losses. Okay, at least things add up. So, all right, two teams we haven't seen at all. Their uh, first match, Revenge versus NA Reject. So, Merlini, I'm not going to let you get away with this. We, we need percentages here. You, percentages? you, you got to give us numbers. I would say I Revenge 60-40, maybe like 62 Okay. 38. Now, Revenge have a stand-in as well. They have oh, the yeah. wall here with them, joining That's Mihawk, true. Misoku, Smash, and well, Mystico. Well, with that, I'd probably drop it to like 58-42. 58-42, <laughs> down you, a solid 2% stand-in syndrome. Dude, stand in factor is a pretty significant Only deal. worth 2%, though. That seems seems low. Belial, what did I say? Belial. Bel Bel I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, I always said Bel Two percent? I don't know. Bel That's about Belial. right. Belial. Jesus, I can't. The gap has closed by 4%, these, these though. Words. All right, 4%. I'm excited. I haven't seen North American Rejects yet, either. I always like seeing Fog play. He's always a fun guy to watch. He is. I just like Fog. I like Fog in general. He's fun to cast with, fun to play with. You know all too well. You actually get to play with him. I know. Fog is a fun guy. And you're tangled up in your mic cord. All right, let's take a look at this draft here. I've seen enough of Merlini fidgeting around with his microphone cord. First pick, Sand King. Sand King the skinny. is What's the legit. Good word? Good legit. He is, I would say, best support in 6.81. Best support in 6.81. That is a bold claim. What other one is more flexible than Sand King? Best and flexible are not the, the same thing. I think he's best because he's the most flexible. The best because he's the most flexible. He can gank. He has an instant stun. He can farm jungle. He can get a quick blink. The farming is where it's at. He farms faster yes. than any other dedicated support. He can also do a lot of damage to BKB heroes. He can also survive. Well, he, he just epis, blinks in, and you can't BKB it because it's an instant stun. Oh, because, yeah, you get stunned. Yeah. And Okay, I was thinking, I was like, wait a second. He has very good escape ability. He can farm the jungle. Mm -hmm. He can push out lanes. He can do a little bit of everything. Sand King was a top pick way back in the day, but things have come full circle. He is a legit mm -hmm. support. He is the real He's deal. Definitely legit. Yeah, he farms really well. That's that's really the big What's thing. What's bad for me about him is he doesn't do anything versus BKB heroes once they've already BKB. Yeah, he's he's yeah he's well yeah BKB counters him kind of as you were just talking about. He's an initiator. He he can be. I, I think he's good as long as you give him priority in the jungle. Where he's not good is if you have a dedicated jungle already. If well, you that's a, just a team fault. That's not the hero's fault. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, all right, I'm looking all right. for inherent weaknesses in the hero. All right. So just in a vacuum, like Sand King, run of the mill. I, I, yeah. I, he needs levels. He needs levels. That's really. He's very level dependent, and he's not a good ganker in the initial levels. Like level one burrow strike, you you need basically someone else to set it up. It's pretty hard to like start off. With well, that you can stun. get boots first. You can go boots first. That's true. 
No, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, he's he's good. I, I don't think that he's bad, but best support. I would say he's the best, best support. support. You can pick him in first phase and get away with it almost every single time. What other support can you pick in the first phase and get away with it? Maybe Shadow Demon. I'd if say. you pick Shadow Demon, if some teams do actually pick Dazzle in the first phase. Yeah, Dazzle's kind of falling off though. He's starting to, and six point eight one maybe with that that mini stun nerf maybe not. It's because so he's not good against push, whereas Sand King is actually really good against yeah. push. Now I would say he is way better than Lich. I I don't know about about Lich right now. Uh, the frost armor on structures is of it's course annoying. a big thing. It's annoying, but does it really? It's not game changing. Make a difference? Yeah, it's just it. Every, so far, every time I've seen it, it's been like, oh man, Dragon Knight. Yeah, he turns blue for a few seconds, but guess what? He still trucks the tower. Yeah. It counters Desolator. That's the big thing that it does. Like, if someone has a Desolator, it negates the armor difference if you have it max level. So, that's something. It stops Desolator from destroying towers as quickly as Desolator does. But, I don't know. I, I do not see Lich as a value pick right now as a support. He's the inverse Sand King, in my opinion. <laughs> inverse Sand King. I'm, I, dude, I, as much as I love Lich, I love playing him. He's a fun hero, and he has some utility, but... It just seems like his skill set doesn't win games. Like the ultimate, still it's slow and clunky. It's easy to just delta split and then it bounces once, twice. It doesn't win you know. games. He it, wins lanes though. He sometimes he's probably the one of the strongest dual lanes in mid. In a defensive matchup, he wins lanes. Lanes where they can't really no, kill each other very matchup, easily. He wins lanes in mid. Sometimes, if I mean, I've seen enough cases where Lich denies all those creeps and it's like, oh look, we've got a little experience that he's worked. Oh, he's like. Two thirds of a level up, and then it just takes the other team to kill him, kill anyone once in that mid lane. Like if it's yeah, like true. Lich and somebody versus Tiny Wisp, all the Tiny Wisp have to do is get a kill, and that negates basically all of the work that Lich put on. Well, the Lich field. plus X will shut down almost any solo mid. So that solo is solo mid for sure. Yes. but a dual on dual lane. But not that many people are on dual lanes. Anyways, no. I, th I think that Sinking is one of the top tier supports. If not a yes. top one, then at least top five. You think top he's better than Tree? I think he's better than Tree. I okay. think he's more flexible than Tree. He's definitely more flexible than Tree. Because I, I would say he's better than Tree. I, I would think say he's fair. better than Tree. Tree and Protector, he gets countered by some stuff. Like, yeah. Firstly, explosive strategies that just dominate towers, mm -hmm. like we saw last game. Like yeah. a tiny, like he doesn't care about Tree armor. He'll just do whatever. Yeah. And he doesn't really care about overgrowth either because you don't actually do any damage to. I would um, go so far as to say that I think Tree is a little overrated right now. I think Tree's overrated. I think Tree is really good in the hands of a player that can execute Tree properly and utilize it. But in the even early then, levels. you can draft against it. It's really hard to draft against Sanking because yes. he has stuns. He's very good aggressively. He's good defensively hmm. with See, a blink dagger. Now, and North American Rejects, they're going to do what I was talking about. They'll grab an Enchantress. And she is probably the one jungle that you can almost get away with because she has a little more flexibility. She can invade the enemy's mm, jungle a little easier. I wouldn't say she's super flexible because she's all about early game aggression. She's all about early game aggression, but she's one of the best dedicated junglers for like, okay, Sand King, you're going to stack these. I can move into the enemy's jungle, grab a big creep, and then try She's and the best space creator early game. Yeah, I, I would say that. And I yeah, I, I guess it's one of those things where Sand King can stay in lane for the initial levels. She can use the jungle, and then they can kind of revert Okay, well, let's forth. talk about how these heroes synergize with <laughs> each other. So, as you said, Enchantress is good for creating space for Sand King. is good for taking towers down with Luna. So, right. North American Rejects, they can pretty much go whatever they want right now. Yeah. They can go all out early game. Um, and then sinking blink it's still relatively early game mm -hmm. by the time he gets it They can go full out push with Luna and Chantra just pushing down a safe lane tower Maybe yeah. even the safe lane t2 early if they get a little bit lucky in the defense that they I feel like go it depends against. on who they pick mid a little bit or revenge they, they have lit and treant lit and treant notorious as the mm -hmm. most tower have you, They're pretty much playing tower Have you seen this Dota. duo since 6.81? Yeah, because it's, LD it's and I casted a game and it was not good it's it was, good on paper. It's really bad in practice. Yes, I, I feel like it's only good if you pick um like the Lich as like an off like Lich. They they can't be your two dedicated supports. You need another support. Like Lich has to be in the off lane or have some way to farm because the two of them they're just too passive. I've they, seen this strat quite a few times. Lich tree and Ember, Ember is okay, I think, but you need. And I think you need an offensive and a defensive, or just one defensive. Yes. Like, Ember plus Tree is okay, but Ember plus Tree plus Lich is too defensive. Ember Spirit can't do everything by himself. He can do exactly. a lot by himself, but not everything. Yeah. And he needs someone like a Darkseer, who can Ion Shell him and make him really, really strong offensively. But yeah. Lich and Tree, like, if they don't touch you, whatever. It's just an Ember Spirit. He yeah. doesn't do that much damage to 6.81. He can be shut down in lane. And he is very poor defensively, especially against like big hits like Kunkka and Luna. If you catch him out and just a sinking sun plus eclipse, he's probably going to die. Lich armor and mm -hmm. living armor on him, he's still going to die. Mm -hmm. 
One of the biggest beefs I have with Tree is that Living Armor is really great once it hits level 3. Level 3, level 4, it, it literally saves lives. Level 1, it can, but... It dissuades it's... people from ganking, but it doesn't save that many Yeah, lives. it doesn't really save you. Level 2, it's like kind of okay, and it's also the cooldown. The cooldown scales really well. It goes from 32 to 14 seconds across the 4 levels. So, it's not very spammable in the early level. So, we've seen instances where Tree can't find any kills early on, doesn't really have anywhere to farm, a tree without a home, if you will. And then he's stuck at, like, level 3 at 8 minutes, and he's just walking around, can't living armor shit, and, you know, just trying to find places to branch. Now, what about Kunkka? That's a pick that feels Kunkka's a little... Kunkka's ownage, but little only if you're really good at torrents without setup. Mm -hmm. I uh, Obviously, it's easy to hit Torrents with setup, and most heroes can do stuff with a lot of setup. But Kunkka, if you can hit Torrents boats without setup, and then get your Kunkka combo off with the Tidebringer, that is just so much damage. We're talking about a flipping 400 damage boat. Yeah. We have a, a stun with Torrent, and then a slow, and then you have Tidebringer, which ignores armor. Mm -hmm. Armor value, not armor type, but that's a small nuance. He does a ton of damage. To yeah. everybody. It's not just single target. All those are AOE. Oh, yeah. Well, Kunk is one of those heroes that he has absurd damage because they're all skill shots. And without setup, they are... Yes. D even in a skilled player, it's not just a, a He's free... a super high skill cap hero. Yeah, one of the, the higher skill caps. But part of what makes him fun to watch. So who is the Kunkka player here? How are NA rejects laying anything? Is that the Probably Snake King here? Korok. Korok? Okay. See, I haven't casted much Korok. He was kind of before my time. He took a long Korok. break of Dota and... He's really good at Storm... And Morphling. Mott speaks very highly of him. Mott told us that he's one of the most skilled players in NA. He is definitely not one of the most skilled players <laughs> in NA. He is, he is one of the <laughs> most skilled Morphling and Storm Spirit players in NA. Okay. Definitely. All right. I'll, but I everything else, it's mediocre. Mm -hmm. He's your normal mid player on almost everything else. Okay. <laughs> he's your normal mid yeah, player. Yeah, he's not, he's not bad. He's not right. amazing. Just he's standard. not bad. He's, he's, yeah, he's just standard. Just, all right. Ooh, Slardar. Hmm. Hmm, okay, so is this a uh, Marana offlane? Who, how are Revenge going to lane this? What's Who's their offlane? It has to be Marana, right? It could be Lich. Lich, oh, oh maybe it'll be a support Marana, Lich offlane, and then we'll see the uh, Treant support Marana and it could position be, one It could also could be try. dual lane, too, right? It could dual be lanes, tree Marana yeah. top with tree pulling, Marana kind of semi-soloing Lich Ember mid just to make sure that he gets a lot yeah. of farm and so Kunkka can't harass A lot of teams like running the Lich in a dual lane rather than the tri lane. Oh, sorry, Lich Slaughter top, or yeah. Treant Slaughter top. Right, right. Heavy melee lane, but I, I I would love to see the offlane Lich. It still has a lot of problems. I know LD in particular is not a big fan of the offlane Lich. I think it can be okay. No, it's not bad. I think he scales decently well with levels because the more levels you get, the more you can deny the enemy hero. And that's yeah. kind of what your offlane is about. It's getting XP and denying this opponent's safe lane farm. Mm -hmm. And Lich does that with high levels of sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, the, the problem is, you know, you see a hero like Centaur or a hero like Timbersaw in the offlane. They can maybe deny a little bit, but they'll use that momentum of the solo lane well, to start creating space in Lich the mid-game. Lich can get mech. Lich, he can get mech, but he can't really create too much space. And all right, Nature's Prophet will be the final pick for the North American Rejects here. And, you know, I, I'm doing the same thing. I almost said All-American Rejects right there. I'm sure I'll say it throughout this game. But Nature's Prophet, your Brax I hero. think that's one of Brax's better heroes. I think yeah. Brax is the very fine space See, creator. Brax is another one. I know the name, and I know he's like an NA guy, but I, I haven't was, seen him. On I would probably say he was the best player on LGD and as far as performance goes. Okay. Maybe not the best skilled player, but he definitely made the most impact in a lot of the games. And if he performed poorly, the team was almost certain to perform poorly, whereas if he performed well, they would almost most likely win. So okay. he was a player to watch out for often in LGDN. Not too much hype from him post that because they've been kind of on a down low. That's why they're called North American Rejects. <laughs> the, the Rejects Unite. It's it's an interesting mashup of players, and I'm actually pretty excited. So to North American here. Rejects, they have the definite post 6.80 lineup a little yeah. bit more. With San King rising up to the top, Kunkka a little bit buffed, and I think they know, just have. I think they have a, a a better draft. Quite honestly, do I, they? I think so. I think they have a, a more difficult to execute, but San King, I, I don't. I Dude. hope they play it right because Sand King, King is, is one of these heroes. If if played right, though, I've seen a lot of teams pick Sand King and he just kind of wanders around. If if you do it right, you dedicate time to the jungle. Like, and I, by doing it right, I I picture like kind of the net style, what they do in the East, where you don't even get epicenter at level six. Just level up that sandstorm, focus on your farm, get a ten minute blink dagger, get your sandstorm at level eight, yes. level nine, and then make the play. He happen. is poopy without blink. Yes, I completely agree. Dude, the I, slaughter is not a plebeian. I think a lot of Sand Kings spend way too much time trying to set up kills in the early game. And no, if, if you can he, get kills, yes. it's good. But if you can't get kills, don't waste your time. Just go back to farming because you can out farm every other support in the game easily. 
easily with it. You just sit there and sandstorm. It's, I agree. It, it doesn't get easier than that. Well, Ro Revenge doesn't actually have the best level 1 lineup, so they're going to 5-man into the opponent's jungle. NAR's is also not that great, too. Enchantress really poor level 1 pre-creeps. And uh, Nature's Prophet really poor pre-creeps, too, with Nature's He'll get uh, it out with calls, the tree. So. Snake King's really close to smash here, and we could find some initiation. Fog. But Fog has a walk up. And, oh. oh, they'll walk right into him. Flame Guard level 1, a 3-man Burrow Strike at level 1 from Fog. He takes some return damage. There's your Kunkka Torrent to follow up. It's going to be the first blood coming out for Nature's Prophet. Ember's the first to go down. They get the counter kill on Sand King. Brax may go down here as well. One last auto attack. That secures it. But a lot of low health heroes here on the dire side. Bilal, Bil whatever you say his name, he's falling quickly. Spectators are talking, and that's a no-no here at the summit, but it's okay. 2-3, to three. and AR, they get the first blood, but they will not get the better of the exchange. And they will retreat. Looks like that's where it will settle down. Chaos already, Merlini. The Slaughter Sun proving to be too strong. They didn't actually get any double Torrents off. They didn't actually get any double Sand King Suns off. And the double Slaughter Crush just led to a little bit more kills. They don't have the best first pull in. Ooh, oh, he almost got hit by that arrow, but he'll get harassed back hard. And now Enchantress... One of the most important things about mm -hmm. it, uh, playing against an Enchantress is making sure she doesn't have an easy time, even in her own jungle sometimes. Yeah. And she'll have... Pro I mean... Yeah, she can still jungle here. She'll have to eat pretty much all of those tangos before the game even starts. And, well, she'll be sproinking into the jungle and a little bit slower, but only camp oh, that's been already dewarded. Ooh, look at this right there. You go. Well, nice little gold picking up for Enchantress. And this one will still be there. The Dire will block the pole camp, but that's okay. The only other word that's come down is this Radiant Observer here in the entryway to the Dire Jungle. Let's introduce these rosters, though. It's already been an action-packed max. The NA Rejects will be on the Radiant side. Snake King will be on the position one Luna. Look at Misko. He's already in his up. He oh, might go oh. for a kill on Snake King. Uh oh there's your Leech Seed. No way he'll survive this one. Arrow connects. Lich gets credit for that one. That'll make it 4-2 yeah, before swear, the first minute That mark. thing seems like way more than 28% slow. It's it's pretty beefy. I mean, there was, to there be was fair, a Lich Nova, Frost Blast, yeah. but still, yeah. it this The slow is ridiculous from the tree. It's... That's really bad for old sneaking. I think this slow feels like it's more than it is because a lot of trees get boots at level 1 and most heroes don't get boots. So when you throw the slow, tree is just like chasing you down with the branches, you know. It makes it seem like you're slowed more, but when in reality... It's that regular percentage. Enchantress has two big creeps. She walks right into Misoku. There's your ensnare to start it off. Hoof stomp from the centaur, but where's the follow-up damage? No one's nearby. Nature's Prophet TPing in will cancel it. And Masoku will survive. First gank from the Enchantress. Oh. Unsuccessful. Fog off the money with the Burrow Strike. Rather unfortunate. NA Rejects trying to turn up the heat, but just can't secure the kills. They still repel a couple of heroes from their safe lane, which is important. They need Luna, Luna to get a decent amount of space. And Enchantress is the right hero for getting it, but they also need kills. Kills mm -hmm. are very, very important to securing her early game experience. And I don't know, Enchantress, if you don't get kills early, she's actually pretty useless as a support. Yeah, and she falls off very quickly as well if she doesn't get those kills. Not only because she needs to farm for herself, but also putting uh, others down, which is one thing uh, Enchantress... Put her down. Put them down. Take them out back and give them the old lassie. Oh, uh, look treatment. at their new, new banner. Look at this. Jeez. Just N.A.? You don't like that? No, no, no. Or it's, you don't like cut, the A is it's cut, cut off? cut in half. Oh, yeah, that's... that's The banners are cut in half for all the banner makers out there. Bummer. Yeah, big time bummer. So let's introduce these rosters here. We got through one hero. Snake King on the Luna. Fogged will be on the support. Sand King in the jungle. That's 1, 4, 3, 7. I'll probably refer to him as Steven on the Enchantress. On top the lane. Mid. Brax That's getting Kunkka dove. By Korok. And yeah, Brax. He's on the Nature's Prophet. He's getting dove and he's getting killed. We'll miss a kill on the bottom lane, but that's okay. We'll catch this one on Brax. The tree almost getting a counter, or almost falling as well for a counter kill. But down in the bottom lane, Sand King was successful in grabbing the Lich. So there you go. Fogged will finally find some success in these kills. But you can keep introducing lineups. Yeah, okay, so on the dire side, we've got Team Revenge, the South American champions, Mihawk in the offlane here, playing the Marana, joined by Masoku on the Lich in the mid. That is Smash, their star player on the Ember Spirit. In the jungle, they'll have Mystico on uh, the Tramp Protector. He's kind of just roaming about, not totally dedicated to the jungle. And they'll have a stand-in here. Their position one, Sardar, played by Bel ha B Belial. Belial. I, I will try my best, but I have a feeling... Just I'll sound it out, there. buddy. Bel... Belial. Okay, so it's like, uh, okay. K-Poptosis is giving me a, a strat session here on pronunciation, but I'll sound it out. That's that's a good good, good strategy. A, 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 a.k.a. we've got Slardar. Top tier strategy. 
Oh, wow. Smash are actually going for the 203 build. So 6180, mm. you would have never seen this build. 6181. So what, Merlini? We've been very opinionated about our Ember Spirits. What what is right now the ideal Ember Spirit build? In it your depends. Humble I think 113 is still really strong. I still think uh -oh. 231 is, or 230 is really strong too. Ace on the Lich, but he gets stuck inside the Sprout. Long range arrow comes. It actually hits Brax, but he's got plenty of support inbound, and they won't be able to translate this into a kill. I don't think. Too many heroes on there. Yeah, huge rotation from NAR. But Belial is just getting all the farm that he wants on the top lane. Maybe going for that early blink, Daga Daga. Yep, you gotta be hopping all over the place. So, um, anyway, on with the chlorophyll, Ember Spirit. 230 or 113, I think, are the standard builds. 203 is not bad either. 113 is still quite good. Uh, this no slight of fist fill, it seems to be working for right now. Korok, he throws the boat though. Won't connect, but he will buy him some time support coming in. Fog connects with the Burrow Strike. Mystico going blow for blow with a little Scorpion there. And X marks the spot. The doo 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 into the torrent. Maybe they'll have enough to bring down Smash, and they will. Fog gets credit for that one, and that makes it 4 to 5 here as we approach the 5 minute mark. And I like the build from Kuka, the one, two, two, one, because uh, Ember Spear is just an elusive hero, but if he has Slight of Fist here, he'd be able to dodge the X torrent. So. Yeah, two zero three might be g good because you can get a kill, but it's not good defensively when you actually need to dodge that. Well, people think of slide of as an offensive skill because it does damage, but it's actually a pretty good defensive skill because you're invulnerable while you oh. chop chop people. Missed a kill onto Brax up top while I was telling these spectators to be quiet. But uh, can I tell him to shut up? You can say whatever you want, man. I don't even know who that guy is. If they talk one more time, I'm going to get angry. I mean, you, you should know that it's, like, inappropriate to talk in all chat unless it's an emergency or you are an admin. Those are your two options. Down bottom, Snake will get engaged upon. Mihawk does leap forward. He takes a lot of tower shots. Nature's Prophet coming in. Brax with the Sprout. He will grab a counter kill. That's a one for one. Luna from Marana. Lich, he's forced to retreat as the TP comes in from Fog. Luckily, Luna was able to buy before she died, but at the same time, she's died three times in six minutes. And Luna, you Ooh. kind of view as that not really a comeback hero, although she can come back, obviously. She's just not your typical comeback hero. And yeah. with this sort of start, it's just it's a little bit tough for sneaking. We'll it's, see how he does. It's tricky. The comeback uh, lies in the Ancients, and that is something they have not stacked at all, just a single grouping of Ancient Black Dragons. So it's still early on. They still have plenty of time to stack, but that's where the recovery will come from. Generally speaking, though, you're right. She's a hero that needs a lot of space and not smashed, off to a good getting start. smashed. Yeah, he takes a torrent to the face. There is a ghost ship available, but smart read from the Kunkka. Fire remnants were down and would have been able to juke that boat very easily. Slardar, though, he's 3-1-2. and two. A lot of those were from the early kills, but he did not go for the fast blink. Grab the Helm of Iron Will as his first HOD's not bad. It's good for lane sustain because he's getting harassed a lot by these ranged heroes. And armor is very, very useful. Early game. Armor is very useful, but is it better than just a fast I don't blink think on so, Sardar? But I mean, it's so not that Helm of Iron Will is bad. Well, you as need much to be able to stay in lane, right? If you can't yeah. stay in lane and farm, then it's kind of useless to try to rush blink. Korok with the Invis Room, maybe looking for initiate on Belial. They do have Living Armor up. Oh, Nature's Prophet throws the Wrath of Nature, TPs in. There's your X into Torrent. Belial in big trouble. He does get a Living Armor that buys him some time, but they don't go for it. Oh, where's the. They don't have any detection. It's only a level two Living Armor, though. Just no, no, no. They had Moonlight Shadow on They couldn't see him. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so sorry. Okay, Moonlight Shadow. Yeah, you need that detection. <laughs> Go so, ahead. Marana, level 6, as we saw. And, oh, up top, Snake King. He's actually rotated now. He's taking too many spills in the bottom, but little did he know. Belial, he was hiding in the trees, and, oh, Snake King. This could be 0 and oh, 4. Oh, Snake King. Yeah, there you go. Sordar just chops him down with the trident. You know, I've never been impressed with Snake King as a carry player. I think he's much better as a space creator than a carry player. I I, I would agree with God that. says sneaking fucking sucks. I wish Ooh. we could have mic on it right now, but those, those are his words, not mine. <laughs> Ouch, the salt. Damn. I would say he's better as a space creator, though. I think that that's a fair assessment. And you can create space by dying, but that's not <laughs> really the kind of space creation that this team needs right now. Yeah, so this is kind of an odd early game. 5-8 to eight at the 8-minute mark. Nair have a small gold lead, but Revenge, they've got the So quote like, gods, Korok fuck, or no, no, no. Sinking hey, fucking Wrong. sucks. Good work. Well done, Merlini. That was a very well, accurate and truthful quote. It was. It was. It was indeed. once you once you figured it out. Once you. Well, maybe it was my words that I said Korok. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Korok, though, who got caught by the ball was a Mihawk with a double damage rune. They'll have the damage to bring him down. It looks like yeah, they sure will. Nature's Prophet TP's in though, looking for the counter kill. They'll find it. Fog joins the party as well. Burrow strike on to match. I said match. That's smash. But living armor comes out. Buy smash the time he needs to scoot back to safety. 
So another one for one in the mid lane, Marana for oh, the no Kunker. slide of fist build. This is super unusual. This is crazy. It is crazy. Slide of fist Madness. is his best skill by far. Yep. Like you Even can't not after the nerf. I would say Flame Guard might be his best spell now because it was the one that didn't get nerfed. Searing Change is definitely not uh, where it's no, at. No, Slide of Fist is OP, dude. Slide of Fist That's is why still... I got nerfed. Oh, God. It still makes you uh, <laughs> invulnerable when you use it. And uh, Smash almost falling in the mid lane, but does get off that uh, living armor and will survive. Meanwhile, in the top lane, though, oh, wow, we missed a kill on Lich in the bottom. Marana throws an arrow. Could still be in trouble, though. Korok, X marks the spot in five seconds. Mihawk burns his leap, and they won't have enough to catch him. Still, wow. Already that Tidebringer doing some damage. Face Boots, Bracer, and Magic Wand. Hmm. Lots of early game items here. We need to see the big crits out. The big crits, yeah. Straight Daedalus, big numbers. Big numbers indeed. Big numbers. But uh, Slardar, he went straight Armla. That's where that Helm of Iron Will was going. Armla's not bad. I like. I prefer Blink, especially versus heroes like Sand King, who are very elusive, and Luna, who's very, very weak. But at the same time, he does Ooh. need to survive. That's what Lich Armor and Living Armor are for. Yeah, well, that nature's armor, uh, or pardon me, that nature's prophet. TP's end, jukes the arrow in the bottom lane. Now Brax, speak of the devil, taking a lot of damage from Smash. If he had Slight of Fist, that'd be a kill, but, well, he finishes him off with Fire Remnant. So, being able to make these kills happen, Smash doing a good job in the mid lane. That'll make him 2-2-3 two, two, and three now. He's also going the Drums Rush, which is, I think, a little bit better if you are going for the Max Flame Guard. No Slight of oh, Fist build. Korok, the Moonlight Shadow used to just... Cut him down. He thought he was safe farming the neutrals, but little did he know. Fogged. Take some damage. Just burn some wand charges. Has enough for the bro strike. There's your living armor. And plenty of follow-up here, but Snake King, he's got the ultimate. Eclipse comes out. Mihawk, a great job fogging in the trees, but taking pretty hefty damage here. We'll miss a kill that uh, Smash brings out onto the Enchantress, but he's got a haste and He's cruising around. Snake King caught in the bowl. His arrow hits him in the face. That's another dead Luna. Now Brax. He'll stand his ground for now. Smash just going ham. Oh, before Flame Guard, so strong. Yeah, Wrath of Nature knocks it off, but he'll be able to walk away with that haste and creating a lot of space for the top lane, where Tree and Slardar, they're doing some work on this top tier one tower. Oh, and, oh god, as I'm looking at that, Kunkka, he rotated bottom. It was a Temple Xorn on yeah. Luna. Or, kills. sorry, Marana. Uh oh, but Smash, he might not get out of this scot free. He's low on mana. Seven wand charges, actually burns a dr an urn charge. Why did I say urn? Drums as well. One, four, three, seven. Trying to path block best he can. Now the Sprout comes out. There's your Burrow Strike. And they should be able to lock him down here. Fire Remnant makes it to the low ground. Sleight of Fist. X marks the spot back. Straight into the boat. Go ship to the face. Living Armor won't save you from the you power know, of Davy Jones' locker. I actually think if he ran down, he would have lived. Because they didn't actually have anything to, s to catch him after that. Uh-oh. Squiddy up in the top lane. Davy Jones going ham. Snake King taking even more damage. They'll lose their tree in the mix. But still, Belial, he's going hard. He finishes off the Nature's Prophet. This is a bloody bloodbath, Merlini. 11 to 15 in only 12 minutes of gameplay. And we're not done. Masoku's in the mid. They'll scout him out. And, oh, a big chain frost. There's your delta split. Only takes one bounce. X marks the spot. Into Torrent. Impetus coming forward. Fogged with plenty of damage. And if he dropped it as they were coming up the hill, instead of once they already got up the hill and had time to split, I think he would have just dominated them. Yeah, tell that to Davy Jones. Old Davy Jones's logger, <laughs> Squiddy. Yeah. What, what what's the bad guy in Pirate of the Car Pirates of the Caribbean? Davy Jones. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's my bad. I got I got him confused with Squidward in my head. Sorry about that. Dude, Squidward's awesome. Squidward is SpongeBob badass. is the shit. You, you like know, SpongeBob? I went to Taiwan one time and I listened to SpongeBob on the. Chinese channel. It was so hilarious hearing Asian dude do Patrick's <laughs> voice. It was so <laughs> funny. Oh god, epicenter on Smash in the mid. See ya, Ember Spirit. Yeah, he throws out the fire remnant, but won't be enough. He will be able to hop back to it before he, right when he respawns, which is nice. But yeah, it was a, one of the most comical things I've seen on TV. <laughs> he does have a, a funny timber. Oh hey, SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, can, but can you imagine an Asian guy doing it? <laughs> I, in, I, in Chinese? I don't know any Chinese words, or else I try to do it. <laughs> it's so funny. So, yeah. first tower of the game. Second tower of the game, rather. Yeah, about first, to go down. First and one's going down now. I don't know. Is Tran going to be able to do his thing? He, he's he doesn't have overgrowth. What? He's level 7 with no overgrowth. Belial hops forward, though. Still finishes off Fog. Ghost Ship flying through the middle. Connects on only Masoku, but he'll be okay. Moonlight Shadow keeps him alive. Now they're charging forward. Blink Dagger up on the Slardar. Has it in one second. Will he go YOLO mode? He's looking around, trying to find the opening. Come on, you fish. Hop forward. We'll turn you into Tuna. Find Snake King. The 1-1. One, one, no, 1-6-6. One, six and six. Luna now 1-7. Brax will be the next target of choice. A beautiful Sprout coming out, but 
They cut through the trees, fire remnant forward. Brax not out of the clear quite yet. Enchantress will find a kill on the Lich around the backside, but Jeez. they chase down the Nature's Prophet. He Plenty of damage. Crushed. Masoku, he had enough experience to grab the Overgrowth. Buys time for his teammates to come in. Arrow available. Sprite trying to heal out. One, four, three, seven. Will it be enough, though? That is the question. Arrow off the mark. Smash looking for the opening, but hops back to remnants and... What is happening here? Chaos breaking out, Merlini. Kunkka finishes off the Marana. Now Belial, he opts to the low ground. Just call him Slardar. Slardar, I can't say it. Masoku. Oh, he's going to get X back. Oh, right into the turret, the poor tree. He may be bulky, but he can't survive the power of the Admiral. 16 to 18 in 14 minutes. What in the world is going on? Is this on? Dota? Revenge is diving so deep, like going over here behind the T2, just... Going in deep, they don't have they're, any BKBs. They're, they're still fighting. Over. Blink forward from the Slardar. There's your Lich Ultimate. Doesn't take any bounces, but it zones out the Enchantress. Kunkka and Sand King get destroyed. He connects with the Torrent, but it doesn't matter. They want to chase down this Enchantress. The Blink Slardar is strong in this one. Oh, yeah. I, I actually think his Blink was going to be super delayed because he went for Armlet first, but he's actually very far. 14 minutes in Slardar with Armlet, 1,200 gold, and a Blink Dagger. That is rich. Yeah, he's loaded, dude. He has 7k net worth. I'm telling you, it's a set, man. I was talking about a set early in the game. That's what makes him farm so fast. I can't deny it. He seems to be doing well. Now, Revenge actually don't have a very large gold lead. It's in the triple digits, about 750 or so. The experience, though, way in their favor. Just about 300. Or but they don't 3, need 000. the gold lead because they have a farm on the important heroes. They have Fade Drums on Ember. That's enough to get them by in the early game. Starter has mm -hmm. Blink Treads and an Armlet. And look at poor old Luna. Poor old Luna indeed. There's she your has, Morbid Mask. She but, has Tequila mm. and Power Treads, it's, man. It's Morbid indeed here for Snake King. 1, 7, and 6. And oh Akunka has a Shadow Amulet, but versus Slardar, is it that useful? Uh-oh, Ghost Ship will connect onto Masoku. Torin as well. Living Armor helping to pick him back up. The Tidebringer not enough, but Brax coming forward. Can they finish off the Lich? Yeah, they can. But at what cost, as they like to say? Snake King taking heavy damage. Gets off the Eclipse. It comes forward with the Epicenter. Not enough to finish off the Slardar. Taking some tower shots. Beautiful Armlet toggling, but Impetus will finish him off. Now Arrow comes in. Hits Fogged. Brax very low, but will survive for now. Starstorm wow. coming in. The Triant gets killed. And AR, they're turning it around. It's it's about to be a full team wipe the other way around. Impetus, a few more on to do it. X marks the spot. Torrent somehow missed him, but it was wow. all that was Smash's fault because he actually did not right click the Luna. If he right clicks Luna, the Eclipse doesn't hit, and the big heroes, Ember and Slardar, most importantly, don't end up dying. And Luna ends up dying in the process. So, with that, with Smash not actually committing to the Luna kill, she lives, she gets a couple of kills, and they're able to turn it around because all their front liners are dead. They need Ember and Slaughter to stay alive so these weaker heroes, Trini without living armor, Lich, Brana without any items because she's kind of supportish at this point. They need to be able to survive. They need their front line alive so they can do the deeps. And they have the ver a very, very good lineup for keeping them alive with tree armor and frost armor, but mm -hmm. just not, en not enough if they go down early. Yep. Well, you know, in normal cases, I would say there's still hope for this Lunar to recover. 4.2k on net worth versus mm. the 7k of Slardar. The biggest issue, though, is this is that same set of black dragons that sat there at the beginning. They haven't stacked it or killed the ancients whatsoever. So how does this Luna find recovery? She doesn't Get have kills a and not and die in team fights. Well, that would be a step in the right direction, but Fogged, he takes some pretty hefty damage from the Slardar. We'll be able to Burrow Strike back to safety. And uh oh, uh, three, uh, on uh, three on one, three on four, two uh -oh. on four. Kanka, he's got the Shadow Blade, so he'll be okay. The smoked wow. Enchantress goes the right way, and Revenge, they find no one. Very mm -hmm. unfortunate. Where's the detection on this dire side? They haven't any. Well, they didn't know that they had a Shadow Blade. Yeah, shadow blade and they, I think they're overly reliant on the Amplify he, Damage. He bought the Shadow da Amulet first, though. I yeah. mean, they, they, they knew he was getting a Shadow Blade. That's well, not they, a... they think Slaughter can initiate on him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Brax, I still think it's an oversight, though. Mm, Brax, baby, you are in some trouble. There's your Searing Bowl is to start things off. And they burned the Overgrowth for that? Oh, man. They really wanted to put him in the grave. But now X marks the spot. Torrent, boat, all for Mystico. And... Ah, she blows. They'll grab another one. But smash, set sail. Yeah, that's right. And ooh, he grabs a haste. No, that's an invisibility rune. Lucky dog. Can he get it off, though? Bolas connect. You better use that rune quickly. Oh, they have a dust. Almost enough to finish him off, but he will scoot back. And just space being created right now. The rest of Revenge, they're pressuring this top tier, too. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Damn. I yeah. like these kind of games. I love the blood maths. Yeah, I, I like blood. And uh, NAR, man, they're actually starting to turn things around a little bit. They've got a pretty decent... I don't know. Snake King just keeps dying. 
He will probably get juiced again. Torrent on the money. There's Fog coming in. A nice line stun connects with two. But where's the follow-up damage? Korok joining the party. He will chop down the Ember Spirit. Fog gets off the epicenter. It'll cost him his life. But might be able to secure the kill onto the Treant. Masoku throws out the ultimate. Brax taking hefty damage as well. Some RNG bounces coming out. Just hopping in the creeps. We'll hit Korok one last time. And that'll be enough to finish him off. Now Masoku taking hefty damage from the Enchantress. She's out of mana. There's your overgrowth. Can they finish her off though? Where's the damage? <laughs> Look at the tree's attack speed! <laughs> <laughs> that oh, that's the slowest branch I've ever seen! And I watched Lord of the Rings not that long ago. Oh, Masoku almost falls. It's not over yet. Brax rejoins the party. Lich goes down. Mystico, he wants vengeance for his good friend, but he can't find it. Kel'Thuzad will have to suffer the unfortunate fate. This is exciting. This is really, this is titillating. 25 to 25 in 19 minutes. I haven't seen a game this action pack since the... I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. This is intense. Since the slaughter of 1999. A, the slaughter of 1999. That's what I was looking for. This is absolutely ridiculous. And usually you think of Lich and Tria as very passive lineup. Okay, well, yeah, slaughter will get some farm, everyone will get some farm, and then we'll just armor them up if anyone gets initiated on. But they're using the exact opposite way where, hey, we'll cast on you guys, and you guys just be super YOLO Superman people. The question is who's winning, though. Look at this I have graph. no idea, it's dude. It's been all over the place. No one knows who's winning. Looks like the rejects were about to take over, but then Revenge take a good team fight, and now Revenge will utilize their slaughter are into the Roche pit. There's your amplified damage, and they should have more than enough to take him down. Now, this is warded up, and they would have seen them, but uh, the two in the pit, they were cheeky. They fire remnant and TP down, or blink dagger down, so NAR have no clue. That's what I'm trying to get out here. And there you go. Easy Roche. What is Slaughter going for, too? Mm -hmm. Looks like a BKB. BKB. He needs a BKB. BK Bizzle. So he can stick on to Saiyan King, stick on to Kunko without fear of return kills. <laughs> yep. Well, Sinking okay. did. Are, he is doing those anxious, but he's only gone with the Morb Bath. I think he needs HOD before he goes for a BKB. Yep. Oh, whoa. Whoa, Mystico? What happened, buddy? I have no idea. Yeah, he got picked off in the bottom. That's my bad. I was looking at the Ancients. I got distracted. I was looking at Ancients, too. So, hmm, yeah, he goes more casual Morbid Mask into the Ogre Club. I saw Aluda do this the other day. I forget who it was, but it did not work out well. I, I like the HOD. I think that's a value item. The Morbid Mask, not quite as valuable compared to the uh, the HOD, but Masoku, yeah, he'll get caught. They even throw out the boat for it. Davy Jones sends him back down to the locker. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I know how this one ends. Fogged. He's in some trouble. Bro strikes away. Tries to get into the sandstorm, but that dance party will be interrupted. There's an Ember Spirit in the middle of the dance floor, and he is ready to tango. 1437 gets out the nation's attendance. They still don't have detection for Korok. And that'll be the Aegis on the Slardar. Snake King trying to do some damage. Throws out that Lucent Beam. Secures the kill on the Ember Spirit. Where's this team spirit. at? Team? Team, do we have a team? Mihawk coming in. Starstorm up in seven. They get the kill on Nature's Prophet. Slardar taking pretty hefty damage, but will. Ooh, almost enough. Oh, the arm the living armor. armor. It's too clutch. The impetus. Oh, that was a 409 impetus. That's just too much. The Slardar takes a spill. What in the world is going on here? Kaphoptosis so, is making weird faces. I'm not NAR sure. NAR <laughs> slightly ahead of gold, slightly ahead of kills, but they don't really have that much momentum going for them, especially since they lost to Aegis. But they aren't able to take down towers after kill. I guess neither team is able to take down towers because there's only three towers down, two towers down in this entire game. Yeah. But who cares about towers? We're all about the blood. Everybody just wants to kill each other. Kunkka <laughs> is... The big breadwinner, though. He's now level 16, highest level in the game by one, and he's now the highest on net worth. Shadowblade, and what did he just pick up? Is this Daedalus incoming? Well, they've yep, been, there's your crit. They just have not been picking up detection, as you said. Yeah, I, I, that is the... Both teams need detection. You've got Mirana on one side, then you've got a Sand King and a Shadowblade on the other. Don't like, forget about the tree is yeah, man. and the tree. But, I mean, both teams, speaking of tree, they're smoked up. They're cruising around the radio. He has a jungle. Midas. He's a carry oh, tree. you got to kill him. The carry tree. Be careful. He's be probably more farm than Snaking, to be fair. Um, not quite, but not that <laughs> far behind. <laughs> Snake King, he's just going straight BKB, which is uh, the right idea, but... They still have to worry about a lot of physical damage from Slaughter and Ember. Yeah, it's, this is one of these games where you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. There's enough lockdown where BKB is Dude, useful, HOD, but... HOD, BKB. Overgrowth and Slardar, those are two things that I would not want to be. Don't BKB forget all Ember. Well, yeah, Ember's pretty good against BKB. Searing Chains don't go through it, though. Yeah, but you can just initiate with Slide of Fist Searing Chains. If you BKB, you just get disengaged upon. If you don't BKB, you'll get hit by Slaughter Sun, you'll get hit by an arrow, you'll get hit by Chain Frost, and you'll probably die. BKB so, I don't know. gets rid of Amplified Damage, yes? Yes. Okay, I thought so. Si, senor. 
It doesn't say magical, so I... Oh, should I have done the advanced tooltip? Works on magic immune units. So does that mean you can put it on BK? Like if yes, you, have you can it on, put it on BKB. BKB units. cleanses it, but then you can recast it on BKB units. Correct. Yes. Correct. Okay, kind of like overgrowth. It's the trump card. Whoever does it last. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, Brax in a little bit of trouble. Ooh, 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 ooh. By a little, I mean a lot. But yeah, by a little. Uh, yeah, they're, they're about to turn things up to eleven, and Brax. Well, they're gonna give him that uh, bash, bash, that trip Where's back, the and bash? Ooh, RNG's Jesus, just not with this Sardar today. Twenty-five percent chance. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, and he didn't they, get they, it. I think they find fog though. Th oh, perfect time to blink. There's your frost note from Asoku, but he burrow strikes away, and I don't know if he's gonna burrow strike. Oh, slaughter! He could have gone on that. Could have yoloed that. Yeah, didn't want to be too bold. Looks like they'll just settle for a tier one tower kill instead. Revenge. They've got all five rotating forward in the North American rejects. They're they're spread all about. Double damage. Do up we have on an over under on number of kills by the time this game's over. Number of kills by the time it's over. Hmm. We're at forty seven. <laughs> yes. At twenty four minutes. <laughs> um. I'm gonna go and. Easy. I can, I, why don't I give? Uh, okay, over you, yeah, you can go for Roger this 91. Time. Korok just gets chopped down in the bottom lane. By the way, in the mid, oh, Ember Spirit survives and Enchantress. Hold on, we'll hold the over under because Slardar versus Enchantress. This is getting steamy. Sprunk versus Slardar. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Chain Frost is gonna come, and well, we know the conclusion to that story. Enchantress about just gets wrecked. 87 and a half. That's my over under. 87 and a half. 87 and kills. Um. I'm going to take the over on that, You'll take the over? Okay. 87 and a half. There need to be at least 88 kills, and then we'll see. Nah, I think there'll be 88 kills. This, I, this game's I, ridiculous. I'm taking the over on that one, man. <laughs> I should have stuck with my original line. Although, Revenge, they, they grab three for nil, so maybe they'll start to grab some momentum here. Maybe. Though they are grabbing momentum, but will they actually take they the They need lead? to get the next Aegis if they want to. Uh, either team needs to grab the Aegis, just because every <laughs> single hero is just so important to easy these engagements, because everybody's fighting. There's no, like, AFK farmer in this game. Seeking's, like, trying to farm, but he even he has 12 assists. Dude, this Lich has some legit items. Look this this. gold lead is exactly at zero right now. The dead Winter Soul. Yeah, it's... I mean, this is a dead even game. I... I 60 kills in 26 minutes. Who'd have thunk he'd be even? Who has the advantage in just this raw slugfest? Both teams have a lot of carry power. Both teams power. have a lot of carry power. I think uh, like, NAR has slightly less like raw damage in fights, but they also have more mobility. I don't know. I'm scared of Korok right now. His Kunkka is nasty. He's got a Demon Edge. He's close to a Daedalus. This this game might go on long enough based I don't know. on how little pushing Once Slaughter happened, gets BKB, though? Like, what could this they... be a Kunkka Rampage style game here? Mm, I don't know, dude. Slaughter with BKB and Living Armor. Like, Good luck. I mean, still, it just takes one. They don't have anything crit. for his BKB, man. Dude, it's Slardar. Ty he has a Ty ton Bringer of armor. Cuts through BKB. Not if you're the target getting hit. Does that really stop it? It's physical. It should go through BKB. No, it hits everyone behind him with it. But it doesn't actually hit him with the. Ty it doesn't actually damage. hit him. That is interesting. Oh yeah, cleave does go through, but the cleave does not the original. Huh. Cleave does not the original. Interesting. Yeah. You're schooling me all over the place, Merlini. Look at this. Should have brought my notebook. It's not too late. It's not. Too, it's not too late. You can still learn the ways of Dota mechanics. Wow. Even fourteen thirty-seven has said. I don't even know how we, they're finding this much farm because there's just like no time to farm. Actually, they're in the last couple of minutes. But Blyle looking for a gank. Fog does scout Slardar. him out. Both teams pinging on each other. He uses his sprint. He has BKB. He feels nigh invincible. Dude, he is. Dude, he, they still need great. detection. Like, what in the world? They have a dust. Actually, a they have dust on Lich and a sentry on Chain Protector. But I don't know if that's enough. Well, against Kunkka, I mean, against Marana, I feel like the gem is more of a necessity because they could just be Moonlight Shadowing to engage on you. Korean, and too. Hello. Look at yeah. him. Oh. He just straight in the on Fog. Yeah, throws down a sentry as well. He's just going to try to branch him. Oh, the Slardar. He doesn't get there in time, but now Smash joins the party. Ball is out, and yeah, that's it. See, that's already one kill because they don't have any detection. Yep. On either side. Yeah, you're right. Trian as well. Still, they need a gem. Moral of the story. Both teams need gems. Get but some more detection. It's just going to be bouncing back and forth like hot potato. It is hot potato. That ah, oh, what a classic. We should play some hot potato. It's been a long time, dude. We're not in elementary school anymore. It's still a fun game. You get to throw things at each other, you like, can do like that. Silent Ball. I don't know what the hell that is. You sit on your desk and be quiet and throw the ball at each other. If you drop it, you're out. If you talk, you're out. <laughs> best cool, best classroom game ever. <laughs> Incentivizes kids to just sit there and be quiet and throw a ball at each other.
<laughs> Korok at the top lane. Takes some hefty damage, but Shadow Blade, the counter to the world since there's no detection. <laughs> Brax is just about to straight TP out, too. Like. Uh, Rax is thinking right now, man, why didn't I get a oh, Shadow Oh, look at Snaking! Oh, goes for the deny, doesn't find it. The Slardar does finish him off, and wrap around from Smash. No, he doesn't go in. It's all the BKB. 10 second BKB. Was that worth it, Snake King? I'm mm, not so sure. Eh, he might have died if he didn't. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Snake King has a Brax. bad history. He TPs in, and TPs out. Oh, that arrow, that was pretty close. A little close for comfort, but will he be able to grab this tower? Go for the deny, boys. There you go, Slardar, he gets it. So also revenge. getting 300 gold off the back of the Necro books. Yeah, Revenge, you're actually starting to grab a lot of momentum here, Merlini. 3,000 gold, No, you are scared about your, the over-under? A little, maybe. Uh, what did I say? 80, was it 88? There had 87 to come and a half. Yeah. yeah, things are slowing down here. I don't know. We need to see some more big team fights. Come on in there. Just go you all YOLO. Come on, y'all. Oh, another long Roche timer, man. What's with all the long Roches tonight? It's a good two and a half minutes or so till. Yeah, that's very unfortunate for Revenge. They can definitely take it out very easily. They have very good map control right now. Slaughter is getting fat, fat, fat. Once yeah, he gets his AC tubby. and Aegis, I don't really know how they're going to stop him. Because a lot of armor versus Luna and oh. Kunkka. Oh, oh, Tree. He walks into a sentry. They saw him. Do they have any more detection? What kind of a question is that? Of course they don't have any more detection. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks away. What is up with these detections? If they ever play versus Nyx's ass, I'm really scared for them. Dude, bo it's just both teams, like, it's not even just one team needs detection. Both of them really do. And Mihawk, alright, he grabs a haste rune, and uh, I thought I saw another big oh, item. Why do bottle and there? then immediately use it? Mm. Whatever. Might need to save his tree, buddy. Tree beard here. Oh, is he going to get this courier? Uh -oh. oh, Arnabus! Arnabus, you're in trouble! Oh no, the little bunny. Dude, Mystico, he's gonna slap him. No. Oh, they don't go for it. Okay. That was an easy thousand gold almost. How many? Would it take two shots from the tree? I believe so. So maybe Tree was just yeah. not confident in his attack time. Just blink dagger, whatever. It's true. I just mean, smack it with your got, tree branches. He has a Midas. Even if he dies, I feel like it was worth the chance just to branch it down. I think the Midas wasn't a bad choice. No, I don't think so. Contrary to popular belief, Midas is actually decently good for farming, just because or fighting. <laughs> good for farming. No, no, no. Of it's course. decently good for fighting because no one else has time to farm, so you can just like whatever oh. Midas and then go. Oh, Korok is the admiral. Just got. Oh wrecked. my gosh, they have detection. What is this game? Yeah, I know. Here we go. Detection on the That's other side cheating. as well. There's Dust on Masoku. Smash. Two bowls on Snake King and Brax. Eclipse is available. Will Snake King get to use it though? No, he just gets cut down. The trident from Slardar is too much. Now 1437. Belial even pops the BKB just for extra good measure. The Sand King as well. Oh, Sacre Bleu. It's wow. a 5 for nil. I, the BKB is just way too strong though. They only have physical damage, except Luna doesn't have any physical damage because she's forced to go this defensive build with HOD and BKB. And then Kunkka. He has physical damage, but not versus the main target. And Slaughter is the one who's all up in your freaking business. Yep. And I must say, this stand-in, I, I dropped the percentage down because of stand-in factor. I actually should've think I should have cranked it up a little bit. <laughs> should have cranked it up. Belial killing it. He is killing it, dude. This is the power that blinks Slaughter. You don't go for freaking Vanguard, dude. You Vanguard. Why Van would you even bring that? Bring that word up. That's just heresy. <laughs> it's just because I see so many people doing it. It doesn't do anything. This is this is this a is nice build. build. Armlet into blink into Dude, BKB. Dude, armlet's much better than Vanguard. I would I would agree. I mean, even just the Helm of Iron Will is better than Vanguard. It's a better value, and does pretty much the same thing in terms of what you use it for. Armor skill is a lot better than damage block, but mm -hmm. yeah, Belial is getting real big. He is fairly close to his AC, and I mean, what do they do? What does NAR do against this? Rat to victory. That's what they're hoping They don't for. have a good rat Speaking lineup. of that, Brax, he takes the arrow from downtown, right clicks from the Marana, in comes Smash, and well, he'll live up to his name. Marana gets. I mean, they have the Desolator on Ember, they have the Amplified damage, and they have AC coming up. Oh. How are you going to deal with that much minus armor? Get yourself a Vlad's, get yourself some medallions. I, I don't know. They're in trouble. I don't know. Kunkka has six armor. <laughs> Enchantress has five armor. Sinking has eight armor. Game Nature Prophet good. has eight armor. Uh oh, Sardar. There you go. Amplified damage on 1437. Minus 15 armor on him right now. Sardar can just chop him in half. BKB pop. Tree coming in. Looking for the overgrowth. Reveals the invis. A double smash coming from the Sardar. Overgrowth comes in. Connects on two. Boat flies, but isn't it enough to save the Sand King? Might save the Enchantress. That's Sardar how much damage he's taking from the boat. That's, that's half the damage he would normally take. Yep. I think and you lost his bet, bro. We're only at 69. Uh, you need a whopping 19 more kills. It's going to be a rough night. 
Well, right. that is the AC completed. Slaughter hitting like an absolute truck right now. This tower sitting at minus 12 armor. Wow. And that tower is gone, though. Yeah, there is a glyph available for the Radiant side. They'll have to burn it for the, uh, the, the racks here. But Snake King, by the time he TPs home, the racks are already dead. That's it. Easy barracks. Uncontested. It was a 5v3 on the what field. What do you feel about God's no statement? Huh? What do you feel about God's statement? That Snake King, what was it? What was the statement? He's a, what was it? Quote? He sucks. Yeah, Snake King sucks. I mean, Snake King's okay. I think he's he's kind he's of about to die. I mean, oh, speak of the devil. BKB pop. Eclipse. Nope, can't even get it off. Smash just gives it to him. I mean, I think it was 100% serious. 100% is a little a little harsh. 95% serious. A, a solid 75% serious. I think Snake King is out of practice. I mean, he's a player with kind of a, a negative reputation for most of the teams that he's been on have disbanded, and he's kind of known for being a little difficult to work with. But because of that, I mean, what's he been doing in the past three months? What team has he been on? I, before this, I haven't really been keeping tabs on what Snake King is up to. Um, and just look at Brass SSD? getting chopped down by this. SSD, what did they do? Play like three matches in Star Ladder, then disband? I mean, did they did they do anything beyond that? Y yeah, I mean, they barely played Korok any Korok going for a kill on Masoku, mm, but whiffs the boat. That's a fail boat. So I, I I would say he's an okay, a decently skilled player, just out of practice. Yeah, one four three seven. He takes a lot of damage, oh and this is just a massacre. Goodness. The GG. What? Do the math, Merlini. It's sixty five plus nine seventy four. Close. Oh gosh, darn it. GG well played. GG well played. That was an intense game, though. I have to say, that was a pleasure to cast. It was back and the forth. The Sandin played really well, though. Mm -hmm. Like oh, I, yeah, I think Slardar just absolutely dominated an AR. Yeah, absolutely, and. They both teams need a detection. I think what <laughs> that I think is the Revenge of this had game. more detection and they ended up winning later. Yeah. That's that you know, maybe there's something to that. They were the ones that ended with the gem, but why did both teams wait so long to get it? I mean, you've got Shree and Murana on one side. You Sand got a King. Sand King and Kunko that went Shadow Blade first on the other side. You have a tree. Don't forget about tree. I said tree. Yeah. I said Luna and Tree. Luna Tree and Luna Tree on one okay. side and then your your Sand King. You mean Murana Tree? Murana. Oh, what did I say, Luna? Yeah, he said yeah Luna. Marana Tree on one side, and then you've got your Kunkka Sand King. And that was just a bloody bloodbath. I couldn't even tell who was winning until that Aegis about. Yeah. But this is exciting. Revenge wins their first game, and I have to be honest. I really like Revenge. They're a team that has been growing on me. And Do you favor them over Liquid in the qualifiers? Or in the Summit qualifiers? Whatever you uh, want to talk the about. The Summit qualifiers. Yeah, I don't want to talk about uh, TI qualifiers. They're undefeated, right bro. Now. They're undefeated, yeah. One, one and nil. I, I think they can... Definitely give Liquid a run for their money. They looked pretty... This was a chaotic game, so it's a little bit hard to judge, but they they had the plan. I mean, they even had the Lich Treant, the dreaded support duo, and they still made it happen, Captain. They actually played it well, though, because they played mm -hmm. super aggressively with all of them, actually getting a lot of mileage out of their armor, and not just dumping it on towers. That's not the strength of Treant. It's not only seeing towers. It's making your dude Superman. And an Ember Spirit, yeah, he died a lot, but look at his kills. 13 kills. Look at his farm. 544 gold per minute. That's so much more than Snaking's at only 385. Yeah. That's a little unfortunate. That's a little unfortunate. Snake King just, he never had any momentum. This is one of these games where once Luna starts to fall behind, and if no space is ever really made for, how does she recover? You know, she, It's really difficult to itemize, because she needs yeah. armor against Slardar. She needs BKB against Ember and Tree and Lich and Murana. Yeah, and then you need damage with something yes. like a Manta or what have and you. And she tried to get all three, but it was just too little too slow. Yeah, I mean, a Midas, I don't think it's his fault, though. A Midas would have helped, but I think by the time he got it, he would have yeah. been too far behind. This is this not a game for Midas unless you're a tree and protector. Th yeah, there just weren't enough uh, heroes protecting the Luna, so it was rather unfortunate. But do we, do we have a camera shot coming, or is there I Ixnay on the camera now? Well, okay. very well played by Revenge. I yeah. I would actually give him top two in, in the... In the so far, summit, we haven't seen enough matches. I mean, yeah, that that would basically mean revenge and EG as your top two. That's what that comes down to. And I, I mean, so far that looks that's not that looks pretty good. It's not a terrible. Based on these other teams, again, we still haven't seen uh, all of the teams play, but Revenge are are looking strong. And the problem with Revenge is Smash is kind of their staple player, and it seems in games where Smash gets Dude, Smash. Dude, Belial played. He played. He played well, but he's just a stand-in. Is he their their one that's going to be? I have no or? idea. I don't know either, but. I'm just saying, my history of casting Revenge is games where Smash gets a lot of pressure coming his way, like teams like against EG, if they'll gank him multiple times early on. But that's on, why they have the tree. He doesn't get momentum. To make sure he doesn't, all right, all right, he doesn't all right. lose a momentum. In this game, yeah, what if they ban out the tree? What if EG first picks the tree? And then they have a Dazzle sit down and babysit. I'm just saying, it, the, the, the Smash is the staple of this They're team. Smash -centric. And if, if you shut down, shut down Smash, then Revenge tends to struggle. Games where Smash doesn't get shut down, they tend to do well. That's well, a very you hear, recurring You heard it here, guys. Strategy to shut down Revenge. Smash, I think Smash. That's, 
I think that's a legit strategy. Mm -hmm. I think the other I think the other teammates played very well though. Yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. He's it's not just him, but he he's is, a cornerstone. Yeah. He, he's their kind of yeah. He's I mean he's definitely their their anchor. Yeah, their anchor. That's all the, oh, the Kunker references. Oh boy. But that wraps up our coverage today, guys. That's it for uh, Summit America. All right, so we've got uh, coming up next on BTS, Vici versus Newbie will be coming up in just about two hours' time on BTS One. So. Plenty of Dota action coming your way, but that wraps up coverage for Summit America, powered by Twitch today. I'm Zayori, with me is Merlini, and thank you for joining us for our four best of ones. Plenty more Summit America coming up tomorrow, and there is Chinese Dota tonight. Until then, though, the guys, we're signing off for now, and we'll enjoy see you your later. weekend, boys. Yes.